it's Penny and the Professor. Here's Penny. Hi everybody, Penny's got her shark hat on, so it must be time for our deep dive. And let me tell you guys what else I know. It's also time to land on Cassie's question. What was Cassie's question, you ask? Cassie's question was, what is happening in Chicka Chicka Boom Boom? Did we answer Cassie's question? Thumbs up if you think you showed in all your acting skills what's happening with those letters. We climbed trees, we fell out of a tree, we hugged our uncles and aunts and papas and mamas, we had A's tried to climb up the tree again, we showed what it means when Chicka Chicka Boom Boom when you fall out of the tree. I think we did a lot of what's happening and you guys did great. So yes, we landed on Cassie's question. Good job, everybody. We're ready for a deep dive. And Penny has a question about sensory adjectives and interesting words. So I'm gonna see what that question is. Good one. So she wants to know why do we need sensory adjectives and why do we need interesting words? So I wanna do a little experiment with you guys to see why that would be important. So let's try this. So I'm going to read a sentence out of the book. And it is actually two sen three sentences. It's three sentences out of the book. And it's gonna be up on the board, it's on page 19. And I want you to listen carefully to any words that you don't know, but that make it sound more interesting, okay? So let me try this one. H is tangled up with I. J and K are about to cry. L is knotted like a tie. Did you hear any new interesting vocabulary that could help you um, know that there's something else going on here besides just letters standing around. What do you think? What do you think, Penny? Tangled, yeah. What does it mean for something to be tangled? It says H is tangled up with I. What does that mean? Exactly. So it means they're kind of tied up together, like twisted together, right? Sometimes my mom says my hair is tangled up. So, I mean, that happens, right? When it's tangled, it's all twisted up and hard to get it to look nice again. And this is the same thing. H is tangled up with I. Let me read that same sentence to you without the word tangled and see if it sounds the same. H is up with I. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. H could be up with I in the tree. But is it as interesting if they're not tangled? It's not as interesting, is it? So H is tangled up with I is more interesting. And so sometimes we use words to make it sound more interesting and make it have more meaning. So how about this one? L is knotted like a tie. Do you know what a knot is? Like if you get a knot in your shoelace, it's all knotted up and you can't get the knot undone. Or maybe your necklace gets all knotted up and you can't get it unknotted. So that is another way to say tangled, right? Tied up put together like hard to get apart. So would it sound as good if I said L is like a tie? Or does it sound better to say L is knotted up like a tie? Knotted like a, a tie that you wear that has that knot at the top of it. I think it sounds better with the interesting words. So Penny, can you see that the reason we use interesting words like that is to make it seem more fun and interesting? Do you see that? Yeah, me too. Do you guys see that too? Thumbs up. All right, perfect. So I have a question for you guys today. I'm going to ask you in your video assignment to just tell me how sentences are different without those detail words. Are they the same or different? And how are they different? I think that they're different because of a lot of reasons, but I want to know what your thinking is. Do you like listening to sentences as much if they don't have interesting words in them? Tell me how they're different when they have detail words in them and how that helps you as a reader. Can't wait to hear what your assignment answers are. Talk to you guys soon. Bye for now.